Hey guys, Raiden here, and welcome to my Let's Play, the long-awaited Let's Play, might I add, even though you haven't waited for it, because you didn't know it was coming, so... You are waiting for it with your heart. Yeah, Fire Emblem Awakening. <laughs> it's one of the weirdest starts I've ever had to an LP ever. But, um, yeah, I finally got over my Fire Emblem phobia after, um, Echoes. Because <laughs> those of you who watched the Echoes LP, I was not happy after that one. And I really needed quite a long break before I was ready to jump back into it. And what I really wanted to do is I really wanted to find a specific game that wouldn't bore me to heck. Because once again, the only games I haven't played are 6, 4, 5, 10, and 11. And I have my own reasons for not jumping into those immediately. But Awakening is a game that I haven't legitimately played, quote-unquote. So to give you a little backstory on this, my original playthrough of Awakening was back when it came out, I had never heard of Fire Emblem, and the very first thing I did was go, oh, sick, RPG, and I grinded Kellum up to level, like, 40, pre technical 40, because promotions, and, uh, he killed everything, and I had no issue with it, and then I was like, well, this game sucks, and then I stopped playing. Um, obviously, I came back to Fire Emblem after that, eventually, but this was my first Fire Emblem game, and I hated it. <laughs> So, it's gonna be a lot of fun playing through this game legitimately without grinding for the first time. I may have to grind for, like, very small things, like maybe, like, a support or, like, a child thing. Unsure? But there's a lot of things I haven't experienced in this game. For example, every single paralogue in the game, pretty much, aside from... I think the one with Donal and... Donnie? Donald, I don't remember his name. And Anna. I think those are the only two I actually did, and I ignored all the others. I also have not even used any of the child units ever, because I was like, why would I want to use a bunch of dumb children back then? And I just didn't use any of them. I didn't even pick up, like, 90% of them. So, <laughs> I didn't play this game the way it was intended, to be honest. And if you're wondering what you just watched before this, for those of you who watched this live, or maybe you skipped this before going to episode zero, whatever I'm gonna call it, I have a new idea. So maybe every four to five episodes, I'm going to be showing off my own personal little support idea, or it's kind of, it's mainly gonna be a skit, like I normally do. But I have so many skits that just go through my mind, and then I don't get to put them anywhere. So every once in a while at the beginning of an episode, you guys will see a skit that I had just floating around in my not-quite-right mind. <laughs> Anyways, uh, very excited to start this. I'm just remembering, like, getting a 3DS for the first time, and I got it with this game and SMT4, and just marveling at the 3D on this menu screen. I was like, whoa, it's like those little flakes are popping out of the screen. <laughs> And if you're wondering why Niles is up there in the top right corner, it is just because often people say, you know what, that corner feels barren, put something there. So, uh, I put Niles there, that the same person who drew the, uh, t-shirt design made. I'll put a link to their channel? No, link to their Twitter in the description. <laughs> okay, let's get started. So we are going to be playing this on hard, and I know people say, like, but Fire Emblem Awakening is super easy, how can you play it on hard? You're stupid. <laughs> and yes, I am, but I am not playing it on Lunatic. I thought about it for a bit, but then I kind of talked to some people, and they're like, no, Lunatic has a lot of, um, a lot of moments where you just don't feel like you're treated quite fairly, and, like, luck can catch you. So, I'm gonna play on hard. Even though this is apparently the easiest Fire Emblem game ever. Uh, and I'm gonna play on Classic, of course, because why would I play on Casual? This is my first, like, regular 3DS Fire Emblem game. Oh boy, I forgot about this. I don't know how I forgot to think this through. You know, normally you think through when you're thinking about doing an LP, you're like, boy, I'm gonna have to create an avatar. What's the avatar gonna look like, sound like? What class is he gonna be? I didn't think about any of this, so. Fun treat for you guys. Okay, well, we're gonna pick a male one. Because I'm male. And that helps me connect better, I guess. Oh my god, I remember, like, the drastically different builds now for the characters. Like, you have a baby who could be female from the looks of it. You have, I, I don't know, but I hate his chin. Like, there's just an extra few pixels on his chin that bothers me. So we're gonna go with normal Robin, because I feel like his face is the best, and it's kind of the suiting face of the series. Uh, as for the eyes, I guess I'll choose one that's similar to mine, which are probably these, honestly. I have very, uh, 
neutral eyes. As for hair, ooh, we have a lot. We have a lot of hair. Actually, no, we don't. We have like five hairstyles. I will just go for, and a lot of these are hairstyles that are on other characters. In fact, I'm just starting to notice. Uh, I'm gonna go for, I kind of like the long hair. I want to see what hairstyles are on the other uh, builds. Oh my god, that hair. Huh. Yeah, okay. And then for Tall Man, he has a lot of warrior cuts. Yeah, all these are mostly hairstyles from other characters. So I think I'm just gonna go for... I like the long-haired one, honestly. Let's go with that. As for hair color, um... I like purple a lot. Let's go with purple. Purple long hair. Yeah, let's do that. And for the voice? Now that strategy. Oh my goodness, I need to turn up the volume a little. Thanks. It's my fault. We can do it. It's my fault. Now that strategy. Here's how it's done. Let's do it. Thanks. Now that strategy. Oh my goodness. That one is so unrobin like I think I want to choose it. Because the other two kind of try to sound like Robin, but this one's like way out there. Oh boy, I didn't think of a name. I should have thought about this before. Oh, time to sit here for five minutes thinking about what I'm going to name this guy. You know what? That works. Um, not creatively bankrupt at all. His name is Onex. Why not? Well, Onex it is. I can't think of a different name I'd want, so... Your name is Onex. Cool. Oh no, people might know my real name is Onex. Let's put in around my birthday. I'm not sure if this actually affects anything, or if it's just like people will walk up to you and be like, Hey, it's your birthday! You haven't turned on this game in months, but you turned it on because you have no friends and you want to hear me congratulate you on being born. I totally don't do that. That would be... that would be sad. Okay, uh... Oh, I forgot about this, too. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna be, class-wise, honestly. But what I'm really trying to do this time is pick a bunch of choices that I don't normally go for. Uh, as far as Fire Emblem goes, so I'm gonna be using a lot of classes I don't normally do. And one thing I never choose, just because I find it boring, is just, like, flat strength. So we're gonna go with flat strength here. As for flaw... Um, usually for my flaw, I actually choose, uh, for a fun flaw. I feel like choosing luck is the most beneficial one, because, but luck is the best stat, and I don't want to miss out on that. So, you know what? We will choose resistance, I guess. I don't know. You know what? That's probably fine. Invisible Ties. I... We're playing Skyrim right now. I lied. I don't even remember that guy's name. This is it. Our this final battle. Okay. I might actually uh, turn off the voice little clips if you can do that, because... I don't know. I feel like I still want them on, though. Oh, he's not going to talk anymore. You're one of us, Onyx. And no destiny can change that. Now let's kill this dastard and be done with it. Oh, I don't even talk here. So it's going to give us a bunch of tutorials, which I'm going to promptly ignore because, well, to be honest, to me. most people on this channel know how Fire Emblem works. And I know how this game works. For the most part, there's a lot of uh, little technical things I don't understand. But, oh, next, we have to get closer. Let's move. Oh, God, I forgot this game is pair up. What was I thinking? <laughs> I forgot about that. All right, my turn. Uh, But pairing up here might not be... Hyper beneficial, although I don't think you can really lose this level unless you just mess up bad. Because I don't think he uh, counters you or anything. 
Ha ha ha. Why do you resist? I don't know. I honestly don't even remember what's happening right now. Good, he's almost within reach. Let's move in and strike. Krom, he's like halfway across the room. What do you mean almost? <laughs> oh. Huh. Yeah, ha you fools. Struggle all you want. You cannot unwrite that which is already written. I'm also gonna try and do a lot of ad-libbing here because I've read a lot of this dialogue before, so. I'm not gonna like straight up ignore the dialogue, of course, but gonna kinda have my fun with it. Just start with Thoron. Okay. Uh, you know, I'll let Krom have the honors here. There you go, Krom. Destroy him. The animations in this game were so cool. Like, I know people love pixel art, and I do too, but like, I still love the animations in this game. No, Krom. Move. It would be a shame if you died. You all right? That's the end of him. No, I. Thanks to you, we carried the day. We can rest easy now. At long last. This is not your... your fault. Promise me you'll escape from this place. Please, go. <laughs> Okie doke, then. Prologue, The Verge of History. Oh god, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna do my best to try and create unique voices we for these characters, do but I just don't know. What do you propose we do? Uh, I don't know. <sighs> I see you're awake now. Hey there. <laughs> there are better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. <laughs> Give me your hand. Thanks, Krom. Your beautiful smile always brightens my day. You all right? Weird. Oh, yeah, sometimes I forgot. They say the whole line just because that's one they already have pre-recorded, so I don't really have to. Thank you, Krom. So, I was thinking about what voice to give, like, Robin this whole time as I was kind of setting up, and then I remembered something I said in Edgeworth Investigations 2, and I said I would always use this character's voice for Robin because that would be hilarious. And now here I am doing it. So, uh, Robin fangirls, be, be prepared. You're about to meet a better, more clear, concise, and hotter version of Robin because this voice is going to be out of this world. Yes, thank you, Krom. Ah, then you know who I am. Huh? No, I actually I it's strange your name. It just came to me. What hmm. what's wrong with your what what do you mean what's wrong with my voice? I I didn't even say that yet. Oh, people are just a little judgmental about this. Hmm, how curious. Tell me, what's your name? What brings you here? Um My name is uh Hmm What? You don't know your own name. I'm not sure if... I'm sorry, but where am I exactly? What? Hey, I've heard of this. It's called amnesia. Explain. That's stupid. Amnesia is a contrived plot device, says Frederick. It's called a load of Pegasus done. Oh, wow, he was actually insulting it. 
We're to believe you remember my lord's name, but not your own. Huh? But it's the truth. <sighs> what if it is true, Frederick? We can't just leave him here alone and confused. Well, I mean, you could. I wouldn't want that. What sort of shepherds will we be then? Right. Just the same, my lord. I must emphasize caution. Twould not do to let a wolf into our flock. Right. Right, then. We'll take him back to town and sort this out there. Uh, Wait, just one moment. Do I have a say in this? <sighs> Peace, friend. I promise we'll hear all you have to say back in town. Now come. What will you do with me? Am I to be your prisoner? <laughs> <laughs> You'll go free once we establish that you're no enemy of Elise. I still don't know how to say that name. Huh? I think it's just Elise, or Elise. I'm not quite sure still. Is that where we are? Elise. Ah. You have never heard of the Halidom. Ha! Huh. Someone pay this actor. He plays quite the fool. The furrowed brow is especially convincing. Frederick, please! This land is known as the ha Halidim? Halidim of Elise. Our ruler, Emerin, is called the Exalt. So that's a little thing I forgot, is that Emerin was actually the current ruler of this game. I always wondered, because I was like, who's the king or queen again? I don't remember. And I remember they have a slightly off political system from normal, like, medieval times. I suppose, or or I suppose proper uh, introductions are in order. My name is Krom, but then you already knew that. The, the delicate one here is my little sister, Lisa. I am not delicate. It's so weird how they sometimes just have like little lines that are perfect for uh, specific things, and then they just kind of abandon them. It always made me think that perhaps they wanted to voice act the entire game, but then at some point decided it would be better just not to and save room on the cartridge, I guess. Ignore my brother, please. He can be a bit thick sometimes. But you're lucky the shepherds found you. Brigands would have been a rude awakening. Title drop. Um. Shepherds? You ten sheep? In full armor? That's metal. Mm. <laughs> it's a dangerous job. Just ask Frederick the wary here. Wait, how is, how is herding sheep dangerous? What kind of sheep are you herding? Right. A title I shall wear with pride. Gods forbid, one of us keeps an appropriate level of caution. I have every wish to trust you, stranger, but my station mandates otherwise. Yeah. I understand, sir. I'm pretty suspicious. My name's Onex. I just remembered that. How odd. I suppose that's one mystery solved. <laughs> like, really? he just looks at his hand like, Oh, good thing I wrote my name on my hand. And he just wrote it like backwards on accident. He's like, huh, I guess I'm Onex then. <laughs> Onex, is that foreign? Oh, well, we can discuss it later. We're almost to town. Once we... Crom! Crom, look, the town! Yes, the town's over there. <laughs> Are you sure that's just not like an annual church barbecue? You don't know that. <clears throat> Damn it! The plow- the- the plown? The town is ablaze. The clowns are ablaze. Those blasted brigands, no doubt. Frederick, Lisa, quickly! What about him? <clears throat> Unless he's on fire as well, it can wait. Of course. Aptly put, my lord. <clears throat> Let's go already. Hey guys, wait for me! I'm ready for Mortal Peril too. <laughs> God, I'm gonna have so much fun with this voice. <laughs> Get to it, lads. Grab anything shiny and put the rest to the torch. We got an example to set for these Elysian types. Ain't that right, lass? Just stay away from me, please, someone help! Crom, we have to stop them. You're right, my Lolita gothic steampunk sister. Don't worry, after today, these bandits won't be bothering anyone ever again. Hey, guys! Onyx, you followed us. Why? Uh, I'm not really certain myself. But I'm armed, and I know my way around to fight if you have me. Good. 
Wait, you're you're armed? What are you carrying? A book. How, how is that armed? I don't know. It's just armed enough, okay? We're gonna deal with that. Of course, strength in numbers. Just stay close. Okay. All right. We Remember, Onyx, we face practice thieves and murderers. They will grant us no quarter. It's kill or be killed. Uh, I love how the first tip in the game practically is, Hey, you units can freaking die. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at everyone, shall we? We have Onyx, who is a tactician. He starts with thunder and a bronze sword and lacks resistance, but has lots and lots of nice little strengths. That's him. He's doing cool stuff. I don't think, in my first playthrough of the game, I don't even think I really leveled the main character, because kill him. But uh, we have Krom, who is the Lord, and he can use a falchion and a rapier. I think later on he can use an axe, or perhaps it's a spear, I don't know. But yeah, he's over here being rad. Doing uh, katas in the middle of the street, hoping someone's looking, hoping girls are watching. We have Frederick, who is the greatest great knight. Um, I actually, he's not my favorite great knight, but he's cool. He's a silver lance. And as IGN says, he's the key to winning the entire game. Although the early chapters, you do need him. <laughs> and then there's Lisa, who's a cleric. Yep, that's her whole thing. <laughs> Not flashy, but it works. So, I suppose we're gonna go for... I don't know. It's been so long since I played this game. Like, it's been a bit. Really? So, Onyx, I see it is... I see you wear a sword. Is it... Wait, is that a tome? You know magic? Yeah. I believe so? I suppose I should check. <sighs> you believe so? Perhaps I'll just keep a few paces behind you for the time being. Um, well, that's how pair up works, silly. No, I can control it, I'm pretty sure. Now, how did this work again? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, let's, uh... Hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do here. <laughs> it's been so long since I played this game, like, I'm a little... A little weary of how pair up works, because... I'm just trying to remember how bad damage is in this game, specifically. But anyways. Uh, I'm not going to be speeding up the animations at first, because I want people to see them play out. That was a lot less... good. <laughs> I thought that would end up being a lot better, but I was wrong about that. Right. Well, we'll see who's delicate. I may not be able to attack like Krom, but when you get injured... I'm badass. I can heal you with my staff. You just tell me where to go, Onex. I'll listen to you and lay my life down on the line for you, even though I just met you, because that's how this works. Wait for me to die on turn one because I wasn't careful enough. Oh, well, they don't do that much damage, okay. <laughs> oh yeah, and I forgot. Pair up in this game is really, really good. In fact, to the point where I believe you just don't ever not want to be paired up. Because why not use the buddy system when you could be using the buddy system, am I right? At least that's my ideology on it. Is anyone hurt? Be foolish to leave a wound untreated. Indeed. Timely use of a staff or a vulnerary should prevent the worst. Switch. Let's... Hmm, what shall I do? It... I feel like I should get rid of that mage, but I could do a bit more just getting rid of this guy first. So that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Gonna move Frederick over here, because he can't really be hurt that much. Going to attack with a sword. It's all right. <sighs> now that's what I call progress. Probably should have switched to Krom in that instance, but it's fine. That guy can't reach. I forgot, do enemies have pair up in this game? Or is that just a player thing in this one? I don't remember. That's fine though, because we'll just survive and beat the level. 
I always thought the bronze swords. Um, one of the things I always really liked about the Awakening, I was gonna say the Awakening games, but there's only one. The 3DS games is, although some of the weapons look really dumb, like the Fates Javelin, which is the most hideous, stupidest thing I've ever seen, um, the weapons really do look unique. So, oh yeah, Chrome does start out with a rapier, I forgot. But for right now, we're gonna use the Falchion. Come on, Onax, help him out. Or not. That's fine. These guys can't reach us anyway, so it's okay. Trying to not let uh, Frederick get any XP right now. We're gonna siphon it from him. That's the goal. I find it weird that these bandits have a mage. Listen. Are you alright, Onax? Don't rush into danger. Actually, I'm hiding behind you, Krom. You've lent us your strength, and that makes you a friend. Having an ally by my side gives me courage. Well... Oh, that's, uh, good to hear, because I totally wasn't going to run away. Nope, thank you, but I think there's a bit more to it than that. Hmm? What do you mean, the power of friendship conquers all? Um... I believe there's a tactical advantage from me being next to you. It's fuzzy, wait, yes. Working in pairs improves strength, defense, speed. Yes, I'm sure of it. Because standing in your general area, still with us, Onyx? You were literally just talking to me five seconds ago. It's strange. You're on the battlefield. I can, well, I can see things. What? See things? Like what? Hmm. The enemy's strength, their weaponry, the flow of battle. Because you know I have eyes. I must have studied this somewhere. So you're saying you can size up the enemy at a glance? Yeah. Yes, it would seem so, and perhaps more if I apply myself. Whoa, did I just see like a error on the screen. Yeah, I, so one thing I'm happy about is so far my 3DS uh, holding up strong. I was told these capture cards for a lot of people were only lasting like a month or so. No crits yet. They're only lasting like a month or so for some people. Well, 0%. So I was kind of worried when I bought it, but so far I've gotten through this is going to be my second series using my 3DS capture card. First being Echoes. So yay. <laughs> I forgot, do these things give... I got some quick training in. The leader should always be at the top of his game. Oh, I forgot, that raises weapon proficiency. Cool. Sometimes you can find items, I believe, and then sometimes I think it just can give flat experience. Frederick, I don't know how strong you are, but I'm gonna have this guy hit you. <laughs> Although I'm a little worried of you just straight up killing him. What's your speed? 12? What's his? Yeah, you will murder him. So I'm gonna try and avoid that. Best as I can. Because early experience is important. We're kind of playing on the defensive here. I know I'm playing slowly. Uh, I normally play a bit faster than this. But it's been a while since I played a Fire Emblem game. So give me a moment to readjust to my normal speed of playing. Krom actually has more resistance than I do, so. Because I chose resistance as my weakness, but I don't know. I feel like it might be fun. You can feel a huge difference. It's not that huge, Frederick. Not that huge. I'm just gonna put you right here. Probably not gonna make much of a difference, but whatever. Ready? I always loved how the Myrmidons look in this game, too. They're very unique, in my opinion. Oh, we got a miss. Okay, then. We should probably get rid of this mage. Oh, and Krom can double him, too. So can I. But he will hurt me a lot. Yeah, that's okay. You're all right. Right. 
Lots of levels for Lisa right here. That's the important part. I love how Krom raises his sword too. He's like, yeah, being healed's the best. Her strength went up. I wonder what her strength growth actually is, because if I remember uh, later on, she could become a war cleric. But uh, I'm not sure if I want her to become that, because I may not even use her this time. I may use a different healer, as I said. We're going for things I don't normally do in Fire Emblem. No, Krom, I will, lo I will lay my life on the line for you. Even though I just met you. That's how passionate I am about our friendship. Good. Really, so you ready to kill this guy? Thank you. No, we're off to a slow start, but uh it's fine. Okay, we have another little spot here. We'll switch to me this time. You seem to be in a good mood. Did someone tell a funny joke? Oh, I'm just having a regular day. You're the one who looks happy. <laughs> he says to the man with a deadpan stare. Okay, okay. Frederick would pretty much kill this guy, but he leaves him open for just an easy kill, so I'm gonna do that. I don't remember how early you get access to shops, though, so maybe I should be conserving the, uh, healing a bit more. I don't know. Anyways. Krom, just don't crit and we'll be fine. Or not Krom, Frederick. Just don't crit. Okay? Here, sheepy sheepy, come to the slaughter! Frederick is my favorite Fire Emblem class. Okay, let's just murder this guy. He needs to go down. By the way, I don't think I'm probably gonna stay a tactician the whole game. I like the class, I think it's really cool. Uh, but I'm probably gonna respec into something else. But we leveled up. Time for broken creative character stats, God damn it. I can tell I've gotten stronger! Onex and Chrome. <sighs> well, that's the end of that. <laughs> Lucky for the town, we were close by. But holy wow! Really, holy wow? Onex, you're incredible! Sword, sorcery, and tactic? Is there anything you can't do? Right. You certainly- you're certainly no helpless victim. That much is for sure. Indeed. Perhaps you might even be capable of an explanation of how you came here? Um... I understand your skepticism, Frederick. But like, fuck off. <laughs> and I cannot explain why some knowledge, only some knowledge, is returned to me. But please, believe me, I shared all that I know. You fought to save Elysian lives. My heart says that's enough. My lord. And your mind, my lord? Your heart may say yes, but what does your mind say? Will you not heed its counsel as well? It's all right. Frederick, the shepherds could use someone with Onex's talents. We've brigands and unruly neighbors all looking to our to bloody our soil. Would you really have us lose such an able tactician? Besides, I believe his story odd as it might be. Oh. Thank you, Krom. <laughs> Just like backs up and gives the middle finger to Frederick while he walks away. <laughs> so how about it? Will you join us, Onex? Yeah. I'd be honored. Did you notice, my lord? The brigand spoke with a Plegian accent. I almost just said pagan. Plegian, what's that? <laughs> hmm. Plegia is Ulysses' westerly neighbor. They send small bands into our territory, hoping to instigate a war. And it's poor townsfolk. They suffer. They're totally innocent and helpless. They can't do anything. They do have us, my lady. Shepherds to protect the sheep. Do not be swept up in your anger, it will cloud your judgment. I I know, I know. Right. Don't worry, I'll get used to all this. <sighs> My lord, please, you must stay the night. 
We are simple folk of simple means, but we would gladly toast your valor with a feast. It's a most generous offer, sir, and no doubt your hospitality would be grand. But I'm afraid we must hurry back to Elistol. I forgot. The city's called... Oh, God. <laughs> Dark meat only for me, medium well, and no salt in the soup. I simply... Wait, what? We're not staying? But Frederick, it's nearly dark. <laughs> when night falls, we'll camp, eat off the land, and make our bed of twigs and the like. I believe you mentioned you would be getting used to this. Yeah, but I was talking about the murder. I don't want to sleep outside like a heathen. Frederick, sometimes I hate you. Hmm. You're quite stern, Lieutenant. Yeah, well, stern is one name for it. I can think of a few others. Frederick only smiles when he's about to bring down the axe. You know what? That is slightly accurate compared to the... So I wrote that little prologue without any knowledge of how the game... Well, I know how the game starts, but I haven't played it in like five years, so... <laughs> I Someone told me I got the characters slightly off, but I don't think I really could have gotten them better because I don't know the characters that well. <laughs> yeah. Duly noted. Um, you do realize I am still present? <laughs> oh, we realize. <laughs> oh, die in a ditch, Frederick. My lord remains as amusing as ever. Now then, shall we be going? Hmm. All right, all right. Ready to go. Next, the capital isn't far. Okay, I never thought that the first chapter would take me that long. <laughs> But I wanted, like, I'm showing off the, uh, animations at regular speed. Plus, I just have to get back into the Fire Emblem vibe again. But, um, next episode I should probably be able to clear this chapter in the next one in one go. But as for this one, I like to keep first episode short, so I'm gonna end it here. Uh, unless, no, we don't have access to any of this stuff yet. But anyways, um, I will be excited to see you guys on the next episode. And I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, leave any comments for any suggestions about the game. Oh, game speed fast. Just turn that on. <laughs> Forgot there's a bunch of settings I need to push. And, um, yeah. Very excited to see your reactions to this LP. I think it's gonna be the first Fire Emblem game i played in a while that I'm just gonna be like, Oh, I'm so excited because I actually am excited. That's the number one formula to me doing a good LP is having is being ready and excited for it. And I'm excited for this one. Especially since I get to see a lot of characters I didn't even A, know existed, and B, really didn't talk to. Uh, cause as we go through this series, you're gonna learn a lot about how I first played this game, and it's just gonna make you face palm so hard. <laughs> so anyways, if you liked the video, please leave a like, and if you wanna become a member of the Dust Brigade, just click subscribe. Thank you, and see you on the next one. Riding out.